Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details here, and I just got done doing a wash and wax on this Highlander behind me, and I used one towel and one towel alone, and that is the sucker towel from Luxury Microfiber. I wanted to do a little test, okay? So I'm always talking about these two drying towels. This is the Autofiber Dreadnought and the sucker towel. Now this is already dried, an SUV by itself, and it is, is barely even damp. I wanna do a little test, all right? So I've got a bucket over here. You can see I've got a bucket, sorry for the spinning, and you can see I have two gallons of water already filled into this bucket. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna actually dump the bucket of water into this right here. You can see it is empty. There's just a little bit, I just rinsed it out. We're going to put each towel into this bucket, dump the water on top of it. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is put the water in it first, then put the towel into the water and see how much water it can absorb and then the remaining water we're going to dump into this empty bucket once it's empty and we're going to measure and see out of two gallons of water which towel wins so let's get our little experiment going on all right so we got two gallons of water all right that is put into our black bucket now let's go ahead and get the autofiber dreadnought and let's put it into the bucket of water. Let's just let it sit. We're gonna let that absorb. We're gonna see how much water it can absorb. Now this is a ridiculous amount of water. This is two gallons of water. I am not expecting this one towel to absorb two gallons of water. That's just ridiculous, okay? Now I'm pretty sure that we are not going to be able to absorb much water left behind. You can see we're dripping. We're actually going to get another bucket and put that in it and then we're just going to give it a little bit of an advantage. We're going to see how much water is left after I just put it in a quick bucket. So let's grab another bucket. Hang on. Okay, we're back. We've grabbed our third bucket. So we're going to go ahead and very quickly pull that out. And let's measure how much water is left. Forgive me, I'm doing this with one hand. measuring is at and you can see that we have about if it stops shaking we have about one and a half gallons so that picked up about a half gallon of water with a towel but you can also see it's leaking a lot of water so I'm giving it a little bit of a curveball okay so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna wring this out we're gonna Put this water back in here. And we're gonna actually fill this back up with our hose. Forgive me for the shakiness. All right, so we are at one and a half gallons. We're gonna add a half gallon of water just to make it fair. And I'd say we're there. All right, now let's go ahead, take this. We're actually gonna lay this over here on our wall. Hang on. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, we've got our empty bucket. Let's just make it truly empty. Empty bucket, two gallons of water. Let's go ahead, grab our luxury microfiber towel that has already soaked up the contents of one SUV. And let's put that in there. And we're just gonna let that sit. Now we let the luxury microfiber one sit for about, I don't know, 30 seconds. So we'll just play nice. We'll do the same thing here. We'll see how much it can absorb. And then we'll go ahead and put that in our third bucket that is empty. And then we'll measure out our water. All right, it's been about the same amount of time. Good God, that's heavy. Now I'm doing the same exact thing that I did with the auto fiber. I gave it a little bit of an advantage. Holy crap, guys. I sucked up a gallon of water by itself. All right, let's see what we're leaking. Very similar to what the auto fiber did as far as leaking amount. But that is just insane that that bucket had two gallons of water. That towel had already dried one SUV and it still absorbed another gallon of water. So, 
I don't know about y'all, but that is kind of amazing for me as a detailer in my world. I know that I'm going to be able to do two or three vehicles with this towel before I even have to consider squeezing the water out. So, I mean, I'm not knocking auto fiber dreadnought. It's a phenomenal drying towel, but I don't even know if it can compete in the same category of this sucker towel. So we're gonna probably do another experiment in a little bit. In fact, let's just do it right now. Let's grab a dreadnought junior and a sucker junior. And let's see how they compare. So we got our sucker junior. We got our Dreadnought Junior. Let's go off the grid. Let's do this. All right, which one's gonna be first? Let's do Auto Fiber Dreadnought. We've got one gallon of water. We're gonna give them a little bit of a curve because they're babies. I'm gonna let that one sit. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out. And that was about a quarter of a gallon. That's impressive. All right, let's squeeze that back out. Let's see if we can do that. All right, let's add our quarter gallon back. And we're at a gallon. All right, let's take our Dreadnought Junior. Let's see how much absorbency we can get with the Dreadnought Junior. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for about five seconds. All right, and we are just a hair below the uh, three quarter of a gallon. So you can see it did probably, don't ask me to do math folks, it probably did a third of a gallon by itself. So again, the Sucker Junior is coming ahead of the uh, Dreadnought Junior. So guys, seriously, you can't go wrong with either the Sucker Junior or the Sucker Towel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little visual experiment of how much these towels can truly absorb. And I'm just going to tell you, I know Landon Crawford did a video showing the streak-free amazingness on vehicles. But you don't necessarily need to absorb a gallon straight of water but you can know that you're gonna have enough absorbency within the towel to be able to dry an entire vehicle streak free without having to worry about water spots or things like that so hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to like be sure to subscribe just to stay tuned or notified of any future videos that we have coming out and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching